What's going on, nursing geeks? It's Jay. So, um, I'm going to be doing a straight catheter on a female for this video. And just a disclaimer, as always, I am not a registered nurse. I'm just a nursing student who's going step by step through the checklist for this checkoff. So we're going to be doing a straight catheter, as I already stated. Before we begin, I'm going, I have my watch. I'm going to take this off. I have it for uniform purposes, but I don't want this or my name badge, which is at my waist, to be um, conta potential contamination for my sterile field. So I'm going to take my watch off and keep this, um, my name badge, below my waist. All right, so let's go ahead and begin. First thing I'm going to do is going to go ahead and verify my order and the need for urinary catheter. So I'm going to be like, hello, wash my hands. Hello, Mr. Sam. I'm Jay. I am a nursing student from Mercy College of Ohio. Can you tell me your name and date of birth, please? All right. So that is December 4th, 1962. That is correct. And Sam Antho. Okay, Mr. Sam, how have you been urinating recently? Have you had any difficulty with urination? He does. I'm going to palpate for bladder distension. Do you have any pain or burning when you urinate? About how much do you urinate? All right, and um, amount and the frequency. So how often do you use the restroom? Okay, not very well. Do you have any allergies, allergies to betadine or latex? All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and get my, where are my wet boobs? Little wet white cups, little wet wipes in the cup. That didn't make any sense. to go ahead and clean my area with anti an antibacterial wipe. Take my gloves off. Wash my hands. All right, Mr. Sam, I'm gonna go ahead, or Sam Antha, since you're female for this one, I'm gonna go ahead and put you in the dorsal recumbent position. Now, before I do that, I'm going to raise the head of the bed. Well, raise the bed to my working height. Get my side rails good. Table's at a good height. Raise my side rail up on the other side of the bed. Drape the patient. Since this is a female, the uh, the um, vagina would be down here, but I'm putting it up here because this is awkward. This is still not going to work, but we'll come to it when that happens. So I'm going to place her in the dorsal recumbent position. Urgh. So it would be like legs like that, so you just turn the torso out. Like that, and you'd brace it on the other side rail right there if we could. Right, right there. Now I'm going to provide peri care. And I think I forgot to explain the procedure, so I'm going to be cleaning up because we're going to be inserting a straight catheter that which what was ordered. This is going to. Um, Make sure that we can get a sterile urine sample and it will relieve some of that bladder distension and the pain in your abdomen, all right? Is that okay with you? All right, good. Make sure you tell the patient what procedure you're going to do because of obvious reasons. So I'm going to dip this in my water, put soap on all of these corners. If you don't know how to get to fold the washcloth like this, fold it in half and then fold it in half again. When you have these the four little corners at the top, that's what you want. Place soap on each of those little corners. 
So now I'm gonna go top to bottom. We're gonna clean a little bit of each side. Side. Now this is just going to be wet, and I'm going to rinse. Now I'm going to pat dry. Take my gloves off, wash my hands, get this on out of the way. Set my little field right here. And now I'm going to go ahead, have my trash can here, table set up. First, I'm gonna open away from me. Reach in here, get my sterile gloves. Sterile drape. Here. On the edge. I'm only touching the edge, the outside edges. Ooh, ooh, ooh. One inch border. Now I'm going to oh, lay shiny side down. And for this, I'd reach under the legs both legs not reaching across pull them under the legs good enough for next thing I'm gonna pull in here pull this other drape out drop in the trash can I do not need that just gonna toss it over there for now now it's time for me to put my sterile gloves on gonna come to the edge of the table right here I have a little bit more room over here so this is sterile and I want to keep this glove um, container sterile so and here I'm gonna tear the lubrication jelly and I'm gonna put the lubricant all in there now I'm gonna drop this into the trash can I'm gonna also take out this patient ID I use this and stick on the sterile cup but heard the sterile sample once I'm finished with it but I'm not doing that now I'm going to go ahead, reach in here, grab, without reaching out over here, I'm gonna grab the sterile lid, grab by the sides, place it, drop it in the center. Now I'm going to say that I'm gonna open these swabs at this point. I'm not gonna actually open the beta nine swabs, but my instructor is going to hand me other swabs. Gonna I would take them. What I like to do is take them out, drop them in there, and drop the packaging in the trash can so I don't have to worry about them. Then I like to go ahead and set up my boat right over here. I like this, have the specimen cup more towards the back and kind of have this kind of like curled up like here. Be very careful. Place it back in the tray, make sure it doesn't pop out. And I'm being careful, I'd have a little bit more room, so I take my sterile cup and sterile field and put it over there a little bit. So I'm gonna reach in here, place my boat right there. Now I am going to, because I want to make sure I have this in my peripheral vision, the cap, I'm gonna knife hand in the center, go ahead, put that. So it's in my peripheral vision. I can see it when I'm working over here. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go ahead and lubricate my catheter. So my instructor will have a little container that you could dip it in. 
So go ahead and dip it in there. And since this is a female, I am going to lubricate three to four inches. And I am going to go ahead, touching only the inside of the container, pick up my little, my swabs right here. Like to have them on the tray like that. Now my left hand is going to be, become contaminated. So I'm going to go ahead, open up the labia, and I have to keep the labia open the entire time. So for this one, I'm gonna go in the middle, top to bottom, around my sterile field, drop in the trash can, don't let it drop below my waist. Right now I'm gonna go on one of the sides, top to bottom, around my sterile field, drop this one, and then the side towards me, top to bottom, Around the sterile field, drop up high. Now I'm ready to insert my catheter. All right, so then I'm gonna find the hole. Then since this is a female, I will be inserting this catheter um, about four to five inches. It's really hard for this one, so there we go. All right, so I insert four to five inches starting to get urine. I'm holding the labia open this entire time. I don't have lubricant, so it's really hard to get in there. Now I'm pinching. I'm gonna pinch off, then with my sterile hand, I can move the bow a little bit closer, then over the sterile urine cup. Now I'm going to go ahead, fill the cup. All right, the cup is filled. Now I'm pinching again. I'm gonna take the sides of this container, put it over here. Without reaching over, I'm going to put the lid on top. Sterile part of this procedure is now open. I'm over. Now I'm gonna drain the bladder completely. So I fill the boat. Now I'm going to gently remove the catheter. All right, clean the peri area. area. Take off my gloves, put sterile gloves, put them in the trash can. Put on some clean gloves. on the lid first thing, make sure it's, it's and date that. Now I'm going to clean up my area. Throw all my supplies in the trash can. Take off my clean gloves. Wash my hands. I'm going to go ahead and reposition the patient. Make sure they're nice and all ready to go. Recover them. the bed. Is there anything I can get you, Samantha, while I'm in here? Okay, lower the side rail that I raised. The top two side rails should be up. All right, Samantha, there's nothing else I can get you. Your two, your call lights are up here and up here. Please let me know if you need anything. Bed is low, locked gonna wash my hands, then I'm going to document the um, size and type of catheter. So the straight catheter and the size of the catheter, the 15 FR that I use. I am going to note the time of the procedure, color or odor of the urine, the amount of urine, and how the patient tolerated the procedure. So document that, and then skill is complete.